Yo, Zebra Herd, and welcome back to Splatoon 2. And today, we're going to be continuing on with yet another weapon showcase. I looked at the options before I started today's episode, and I definitely think I'm going to be doing something specific today. I mean, I tried to cho choose the cheapest one, but I don't know. I'm just, that's starting the matter less and less to me. It's more like, okay, what can I afford right now that looks like a lot of fun? And right now, the most fun thing to me definitely looks like the N. Perry Splat Dualies. Uh, yeah, I'm in the mood to play some dualies. I haven't played these ones before, so take it away. Sheldon, the Empery Splat Dualies are a result of a collaboration between the Splat Dualies and the gear brand Empery. They have the same stats as the Splat Dualies, but you can use the curling bombs to push forward and move into prime splatting range. The included inkjet special gives you the ability to splat far off opponents, recommended for players who want to do it all. Well, doing it all sounds pretty good to me, so let's go ahead and buy these, we'll equip them, so they seem to be very, very similar to the Splat Dooley, just with a little bit of extra designer flair to them, which is pretty cool. I, I have nothing against the base Splat Dooley, so I should have at least you know a base level of fun here today. I don't think I'll buy anything, because we only have a little less than 50,000 coins. Maybe I will go ahead to the uh, Snack Shack, whatever it's called, and try to get some stuff there, um, so that we can get uh, more you know, cash in general. But, uh, oh, I can't believe my little ink fish blossom into a spiritual powerhouse. I've never... Bastin and R like yours. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they compliment you once you get more levels, I guess. I haven't really paid attention to what they say because I'm just so excited to buy their wares. Ooh, the boots look pretty good. I like those. They'll go ahead and do the deep sea leather boots. Hopefully they're not real leather. Um, Then everything else, if we take a look. Nothing I'm exactly, you know, needing there. But uh, having a nice base, basic shirt can be good. The cheetah print looks pretty fun. Uh, The light bomber jacket, ooh, that is flashy. The really weirdly long cuff is odd. And then there's this, you know, basic flannel shirt. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll buy, actually that's really expensive. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting some second thoughts about that. We'll go ahead and buy the, the white shirt. That, that seems fine. Of course, some of these costs are determined because of the amount of slots they have, so I can see why that's the case, but uh, okay, let's check out some cool helmets and hats like that. I don't know if any of these, I really need the doubled, uh, the double up. Bell hat here looks weird. It looks like she's like wearing two hats at once, which is just odd. Uh, and that's about it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just equip whatever we have available, see whatever looks cool, and hopefully we'll be good with just that. I mean, I have a lot of clothing at this point. We should be able to make a combo of something, I'd imagine, but you never know. I'm always looking for more. We've actually leveled up a fair amount of our stuff here. We could continue with the headphones, but hmm. I don't know. I feel like if we do need more headwear, it's definitely, I mean, if we need any kind of wear, it's definitely more headwear. Well, we'll go with the glasses for now. We haven't worn the glasses in a little while. They always look cool. We do have new clothes. We have a lot of clothes, actually. So what does some maybe come, oh, this is good. Some four slot stuff, like that could be good. Um, But what shoes would be good with that? Those always look cool. Uh, But maybe we could find some something different, like that would be good. These look very good. They're the pull-ons. Odd. Ooh, you know what? We're going with those, especially since they don't have like many of the slots filled out. This right here seems like a good, good combo to me. We look awesome, hopefully we play awesome, and everything will turn out just fine. All right, so we're on Mantamaria. We have uh, the Empery Splat Dualies. Hopefully everything goes well here. I think it will. It'll be fun to play some Dualies. They don't do that too often, so this will be good. We're just playing on normal turf four for now. Maybe we'll make our way over to Rainmaker later. Uh, I am not doing very well in Rainmaker. We're about to lose, uh, I think, and I'm already just like a C rank or something. I'm not doing so great in Rainmaker, so hopefully that could change. If I uh, play well today, maybe I'll move on over to that. We already got our superpower, it is the Jetpack. I think I'll go ahead and use it. Uh, go ahead and try to get some of these guys. They're not exactly in a good position, aren't I? And it's also my first time like playing this week, so I might be just doing awful all around. But I'm gonna have fun, because it's the dualies. The dualies are like always fun. It's really hard not to have fun with these kind of things, so I think we'll be fine. Oh, let's go for you. Oh, 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 oh that was cool. He was about to do his splash down or whatever it is, and I was able to stop him. Okay, so fill all this up as much as we can, and of course, as we are battling, I would like to ask you, what are your thoughts on the N. Perry Splat Dualies? Have you used them before? Do you plan on using them? What are your strategies with them? What game mode do you use them with? All that kind of interesting stuff. I would love to hear your thoughts on the N. Perry Splat Dualies. Now let's go ahead and kick some butt. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> he got his revenge. Oh no. I actually thought, that, like, I didn't have any clue they were behind me. They, you know, I should've, because they could just, you know, go around really easy in that situation, but, I was just super caught by surprise there. My game sense isn't very high right now, which is why I don't know if I want to do too much ranked. 
But I don't know, maybe we will. I do wanna do some episodes that aren't just weapon showcases. They're usually my best excuse just to play the game, you know? So that's why I like doing them. Um, but also, I wanna be able to do maybe just some episodes that are just, you know, it's a game of rank, that's what it is. Or an episode just focused on rank. Um, I always don't know how to feel about that, because, you know, sometimes I like having like a very specific purpose for each episode. But then, of course, that would just mean that my goal would probably be to hit a certain rank in that episode. It's just a matter of, if I don't do it, then I just feel like the episode, like nothing happened the way I wanted it to and I get super picky. So I try not to confuse myself too much, right? I don't know though, I might be making a very simple thing complicated. I'm known to do that. Okay, so they are really getting us right now. I feel like I gotta get more splats than I'm getting right at this moment. Okay, go ahead and try to get you, or not. <laughs> Not good. I think they also have, yep, the end parry spot toolies. It says in the center of the screen, Zebra. I was like looking at our weapon, trying to figure it out, and then I realized, like I said, I make some very simple things complicated. Okay, so we might be able to make a turnaround here. We, it looks like some of our teammates got some good splats there. I'm gonna fill up on my ink and just go for it. Ready? Good job, good job. Ooh, good job, good job. Keep moving, fill this stuff up as much as we possibly can. Like, I know my superpower is available. I think it would just be smarter to uh, just fill. Fill up the uh, floor a little bit. Hopefully there's no, wait, wait, oh gosh. I should have seen that coming. But we might be able to win this, 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Oh boy, jump over there. I'm not gonna have enough time. Just do some uh, janitor duty as much as we can. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. Okay, I think we did fine. Uh, I didn't get a ton of points, but at the same time, I'm also a dually player. Oh, it seems like they turned it back around. Maybe I overextended a little bit. Maybe it would have just been better for me to stick around and try to clean up those little pieces instead of going so far out to their spawn, not expecting them to be there. But hey, it was a warm up match. First match of the day, right? 729 points, not bad. Two spots, two superpowers. Could have been a third one. Well, actually, I don't remember doing the second superpower. Maybe I did accidentally press it right at the end, but it didn't really count. I don't know. Doesn't matter, we're gonna continue. But yeah, this is pretty cool already. I'm enjoying playing with the dualies, even if we don't play specifically well. But uh, hopefully now that I've gotten a game under our belts, we would do a little bit better. I forgot to go to the snack shack. Oh, I'll have to do that next episode. Yeah, I don't have any bonus now, but that's fine. It's not the end of the world. I feel like it would be easier if I do some uh, non-weapon showcase episodes soon though, just because that way I'll have a couple episodes or earn some cash. I've been doing a lot of Splatoon throughout March, uh, especially you know with the new DLC being announced. I've been playing a lot of the game for you guys. I've been excited about it. I've been just in the mood to play it too. It's really fun. But I don't usually have a lot of time to play games outside of recording them nowadays. It's just, I, I just don't. Um, and which is a shame, because I love playing games, but you know that's just how it is for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and follow our bomb. But because of that, that's why I feel like I've been starting to run a little low on coins recently, and I do not like it one bit. So I'm doing a pretty good job of getting out here soon, but remember that I also need to fill up turf. That's the whole goal of the game mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this section. I feel like it will be a great start. I know they're about to show up all over the place, so I don't know when I wanna use a jetpack. Really, the jetpack is a tricky thing for me. Like, it's never really obvious to me when I should be using it. Okay, uh, let's try to be careful here. S excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Back up. Back up. Uh, okay, I, I didn't get anybody with it, but they didn't get me, which is pretty good. Oh, 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 but I got you? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, learn from others' mistakes, right? Uh, all right, so let's try to get over here. Got you. Nice, okay, this is a good start so far. I mean, I've been just trying to roll around. That's always something that's really weird to get used to with dualies is rolling around like that, but I feel like I'm doing okay with it. I mean, when it comes to the actual primary weapon action, remember that this is the same as the normal dually. So I do have sort of a frame of reference, even though it has been a while since I've played those duallys. It's just still, you know, pretty nice. I do like the kit surrounding it. I mean, I'm not very used to it. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, <laughs> I ran into a situation there that I was having a hard time getting out of. So I'm not too surprised I got taken out. Well, right, we got a good start then. Okay, so I do see some stuff I can like help fill up before jumping off somewhere. Where was that? Uh, there is a little spot right here. But I'll fill up. It looks like maybe somebody got here at some point. And then nobody just bothered cleaning it up. Okay, so let me go ahead and try to catch up to this dude because he doesn't quite see me. Got him. I'm gonna beat up his little friend too. Got him, because he doesn't see me either. Awesome. Okay, good job. Good job. Keep moving though. We ain't quite done yet. Okay, whoa. He's splashing down. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm facing the wrong way. Oh, he's stuck. He's not stuck. But I got him. I got him indeed. Pretty good, pretty good. So we're, you know, getting rid of them. 
but they're still sticking around pretty well. Oh, hey, hey, don't take out my friend. Don't take out my friend. Stop, please, please. Oh, wow, that was really confusing. I was confusing myself there, too. Oh, boy. I do like having this uh, curling bomb. Oh, hey, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, no, wait, no, okay, I got it. Wow, okay, we're like a splatting machine so far. It's fun. But we need to do more than this, come on, come on. Gotta be careful, I don't know where the enemies are at the moment. There is a dude up here. Oh, got him, that was great. That was really good, I was really tricky with that one. So they're coming in from like all sorts of different angles. <laughs> Same spot again, I gotta be careful about that little corner. It's hard to tell where the <laughs> enemies are coming in. That guy just kept moving. He's like, I'm gonna roll over you, whether you like it or not. Okay, so let's get over here. We have a full thing of inks. Now's my time to take this opportunity to move, move, move. Um, got it. Oh, hey, sir. <laughs> how are you? Okay, uh, throw the bomb that way. I don't know how well we did, but I think we won. I think we just barely were able to pull out that win. Very uh, competitive match. I really enjoyed that one, but it looks like we won. 51 to 39, we definitely won. Awesome. I'm super happy about that one. Okay, look at us go, doing our happy little flips. Yeah, and I got the top score too, 1973 is not bad at all for a dually player if you ask me. 12 spots also, I think we were the MVP of that match, I had fun. Okay, so I could definitely, if, the, if this episode's just gonna be more of this, I'll be happy to continue, so we'll do another round of Turf War. If we do well in that one, then maybe I'll move my way to Rainmaker. I don't know how well it'll be, but this seems to be a basic splatting setup, so I would really imagine it'd do just fine in Rainmaker, if that's still available by the time we uh, get there. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Okay, so we're playing Sturgeon Shipyard. I haven't played this yet today, so might be a little rusty at first, but it should be good. Hopefully we can do well. Once again, we're going against somebody who also has the same weapon as us, which means I need to do the best ever. But you know what, this worked out pretty well for me last time, which is filling up, and then just filling up while we follow this bomb. And then it looks like none of them went this way, or they just quite haven't gone here yet, because a lot of them, they do not rush out like I do. Uh, because, they're just trying to simply, oh gosh, oh, oh, okay, somebody's over there. Simply because they're focusing on covering their main turf. I have a lot of teammates that I feel like are going to be doing that anyways, so I might as well not worry about it too much. Oh, oh, yeah, get her, good job. And I feel like we're doing a plenty five, fine job at overwhelming the enemy by doing it this way. <laughs> Hold on, oh, that was me being really bad. Um, but hey, I feel like we're doing a great start so far, but great starts aren't the only thing that matter in turf war. We need so much more to uh, get down here. Hey, sir, uh, be careful, please. Uh, gotcha. Okay, this person doesn't quite see me, so I'm gonna take them out. Yeah, leave my teammates alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, get you. Okay, look at us go, we're on fire. Not just me, not just anyone in specific. The entire team is doing fantastic. Whoa, okay, hold on. Boom, let's hit that over there. Try to hit that towards that person, but they're sort of in a position where I can't get them too easy. Come on. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them. Oh well, back to a safe location, mostly. Oh, throw that bomb over that way. Oh, they're trying to run. They can't get too far, can they? Or maybe they can. Okay, <laughs> not good. They actually turned that around pretty well. Ouch, indeed. That was a little sloppy. But hey, we still have a minute left. Our entire team got knocked out. Let's do some janitor duty. We all sort of rushed out, and because of that, we didn't really clean up this area too much. I mean, we got a good start because of it, and if we're able to maintain control, it doesn't really matter. But uh, as it currently stands, we are not winning anymore. Ooh. But it goes to show. The start is not all that matters in Turf War. Oh, hey, he bombs everywhere, huh? That's not what I wanted to pop out into. Okay, so I see some dudes over here, I did. Don't know where they ran off to. Okay, you took care of my teammate, which I don't appreciate. I didn't want it to happen that way, but I couldn't get out fast enough. But as soon as we get to this situation where it's like us or them, just straight up battling, we take the control again. I don't think any of them are back at our spawn or something crazy like that. Okay, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, not bad, not bad. But I do just love being able to roll around like a little maniac with the dualies. Oh, that was weird. Once again, I got sort of smushed against a wall. Which just happens to me so much. It seems to happen at least once an episode where I just sort of get smushed against the wall and my camera angle goes all wonky and then I get taken out. It's just sort of a game sense thing, you know? You have to sort of get used to it and then sort of always in the back of your head like, oh, be careful against the walls or the camera angle will get a little wonky. Okay, so it might be smarter just to ignore everyone, fill up as much turf as we possibly can wherever we can, really. Because, you know, that person's chasing me but can't keep up. 
All right, so let's see what that did. Did we win by doing it that way? Or maybe I should have focused more on splatting. Yeah, we won, okay. So we'll move on to the ranked game mode, whatever that might be. But we won with a 20% lead, a little bit more than that, actually. Did I get the top score then? I probably didn't. Uh, yeah, I actually got the worst score on our team. Three splats is okay. I really didn't do anything worthwhile there, though. Unlike the last round. But hey, you can't you can't be the MVP every time, can you? I mean, maybe you can. Uh, but we'll go ahead. We'll switch out of here. We'll try to change game modes up a little bit. See if we can't get some extra rank. Because right now it is Rainmaker. I'm a C minus player when it comes to Rainmaker. So hopefully we can change that. Make it a B minus player. Because that would make me feel a little bit better. But apparently I don't win Rainmaker too often now, do I? Okay, I think that'll hopefully put us against players maybe I could get used to a little bit more, and then soon enough I can uh, grow that rank a little bit. But it would be fun to do an episode where I try to get like A rank in something, because I don't think I actually have gotten to A rank before. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that with Rainmaker. But of course, soon enough, at the end of the upcoming month, it's almost April, so the end of April, there should be the X rank released, I think. That's when it's gonna be released. And there's gonna be tons of new clothing to buy as well, which I'm so excited for. Okay, let's go for it. Because now we can actually just worry about getting out there as soon as possible, because that's just sort of the main goal right now, is to get over to the Rainmaker and then go for it. There we go, look at this, it's ours! You splatted him, good job! Okay, move out here. And just try to be as aware of everything and everyone as possible. Come on, move for it. This guy's trying to sneak up behind us. I think that we got him. Or at least our teammates do. Whoa, 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 whoa. problems, problems, problems. Oh, I couldn't even get him. They sort of had a good, uh, good grip on that one. So that wasn't the best start. We were able to get it super duper far, don't get me wrong. We only had a remaining of five. But this is the kind of game mode where that doesn't matter also, because they can turn around any second now. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got you, got you, the double, the double. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Beat it up, beat it up. Come on. Whoa, what happened? Did I get squished? Spotted by the Rainmaker's barrier. I didn't know I could get squished by the barrier, that's weird. Let me go ahead and try to jump to somebody. We lost the Rainmaker, so this might be a huge mistake. Looking like it. Um. Okay, move back. I see the student in his little bubble. I don't care about your bubble. Wait, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, he timed it wrong. Okay, we're able to take him out, watch out! Oh no. Oh, be careful, be careful. I really don't have you know very long range for most of this kind of stuff, so we gotta be super careful with how this ends up working. Uh, try to beat you up. Man, my aim is awful with this thing, but I was able to take you out, see it? I think I took you out. Something took you out for sure, which is all that matters. Okay, I don't know where this person with the brushes. Oh man, that's really weird. <laughs> I should have backed up. Should have just backed up and exploded it. Because if we could have gotten the explosion there, it would have been really good. Everybody got taken out, I think. I'm gonna throw that bomb and then keep rolling past it. Well, this is a good line right here to take. Keep moving, keep moving. It's so intense, ow. Ow, that was really, really my fault. Hmm. Well yeah, this is an intense round so far. They haven't gone it too far. If we were able to time this out for the next three minutes somehow, we would get the win, but That'd be assuming that like nobody else made any progress. Okay, I'll go ahead, I'll try to grab it this time. Maybe that'll make some difference. Uh, we gotta be careful. I don't know why these aren't like making any, like it isn't landing. Maybe I'm not charging it properly. Come on guys, come on, come on. Ready, set, oh! Yeah, I won! <laughs> I've never done that before, I don't think. That was really cool. I guess you can just make that jump. I thought I was gonna have to clear up that ink, but not really, you just gotta get to the top of the pedestal. So we win uh, a round of uh, Rainmaker. Pretty good stuff right there. And I got uh, six six splats. It seems to be the tying top splatter by like three people. And we got the B minus, yeah. Okay, so we'll keep moving. And we also got a new jacket, which is pretty cool. Or not a new jacket, but a new jacket level and a new shoe level. So we're doing pretty good. Everything is right in the world. I'm a happy zebra. Let's go ahead and find a couple more games of Rainmaker then. It's always so much fun when you win. It is so defeating when you lose. I think that goes for most Splatoon 2 game modes. Uh, because unlike other games, like, you know, Garden Warfare, a good example. You know, even if you lose in Garden Warfare, you're still getting coins, you're still getting experience, you're still fine. In Splatoon, you do, but you get significantly less. So it really is like, oh, it hurts to lose. But in Garden Warfare, it's like, 
it sort of is based on your solo performance. If you got a lot of vanquishes, if you did a lot of good things, you might earn slightly less coins if you lost, but you would still get a lot of coins just because you performed well. That's sort of what I appreciate more. I think the same thing, sort of kind of for Overwatch. You do definitely earn a whole lot less experience if you don't perform or if you don't win, but performing well definitely will give you some experience, which is good. But uh, Splatoon, I feel like it doesn't as much, so it can just be tough to win, or not to win, and like not be upset about it. But hey, you know, I have fun every round, and that's the most important thing. Okay, there we go. I was like, should I just wait for this guy to show up or not? He's here, don't worry. Okay, but I'm having a lot of fun with this weapon. I mean, it isn't, you know, super crazy, but at the same time. You know, it's something we're used to, just slightly different. We can get out to those points pretty quickly, which is good. I don't think it'll be too good to throw out the bomb here. I haven't played Rainmaker on this map before, so this will certainly be interesting. Get up here, and then we're gonna throw that like right there. It will bounce, but not in a bad way. Um, I'm gonna try to get up here. That way we can sneak up on like somebody maybe, or be really awful. Like my eyes gave up there. They're like, okay, Zebra, you ain't seeing nothing right now. Okay, so. I don't know who has it right now. It looks like they're actually about to explode it, which is not good. Uh, yep, they have it. So if, I, if I'm if i a sneaky zebra about this, because he was the only person there, which means we could probably quite easily take him out. And then, guys, don't take yourselves out because we gotta just spot it and grab it. Okay. Uh, nice. Okay, beat this guy up when he shows up in a second. Got him. Okay, so most of their team is taken out. We need to move this way then. This way, this way. All right, everybody, move it, move it. Okay is, where's Rainmaker guy? He's over here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why did they go that way? I I don't know. They just didn't want to go the way everybody else was going. Good to know that they're, they're such a rebel. Oh, you're not the person I thought you were. <laughs> I thought you were the one with the Rainmaker. Ay, ay, ay. It's fine, it's fine. They lost a Rainmaker, which is good for us. We can just plop down like that, then move it, move it, and then we gotta explode that thing. Come on, come on, come on team. I know you're gonna try to stop me. I'm not gonna let you. Oh, it's mine. All right. This way, can I get some teammates around? Where is my team? Did they, I guess they're getting distracted by this dude who, do they know what the point of the game mode is? All right, you know what, dude? Get rid of that stinking sprinkler. The stinking sprinkling. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Not happening, you jerk. Man, that guy's not even playing. He's just like trying to stop everybody else from playing. Ah, okay. Well. Who has the more remaining amount? I always get so confused. I guess they're in the lead right now, which is a pain in the booty. Can this guy stop? I don't even know where he is right, right now. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, come on, this is so awkward. What it? What is going on with this round? I don't understand. I don't, it just feels like nobody's playing. We're about to lose though, this is, yep. Wow, because I feel like there was a couple times where there were, it wasn't just me or just my team, it was like all of us. Totally just like, oh yeah, you know what the point of the game mode? Ah, who needs that? Let's just run around. Cause like, the person got the Rainmaker and we all tried to move as a team and then like, two or three of us were there and we turn around and the guy went the completely opposite direction. And then, uh, there was a guy who was just spawn camping us so that the entire team could have gotten like a really easy Rainmaker grab. I was like, I was there for a while. I exploded the entire bubble on my own. And just nothing. So that was a really bizarre match. A little frustrating and actually sort of proves my point like, doesn't matter how well I perform individually, we just barely get anything unlocked. You get very little experience and coins for losing. Uh, but, oh well, next round, next round it is. We're still B minus. I don't think I'm gonna be hitting A rank anytime soon at this rate, but I'll try, I'll try my hardest. Okay, um, let's see what we get done. This map I do like a whole lot better with Rainmaker. It is a lot more enjoyable and just doable. And I know where to place, place that bomb or throw that bomb. Really, mostly. So that we can get the most out of this. I guess not, I feel like this is a little different than last time. Maybe it's not. I mean, maybe we started on that side before. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a little bit more than I was expecting. They had like a whole little train of rollers. That's not the case. I mean, they do have two roller players. So I guess it was a little train of rollers. It'd be funny if the entire team played as rollers and just tried to, oh, get you for sure. And I think you had a, a carbon roller. You're moving really quick there. Where are they? They're over here right now. They're taking sort of the scenic round, which might end up working for them. Whoop, get up here. All right, they lost a Rainmaker, which is very good for us. 
I mean, you know, the two sides of the map are identical. They just don't really seem like it. It always seems like you're coming in from one specific side, but I think it's totally identical. Hmm. Well, right now, it looks like we just lost a Rainmaker, but we should be able to get it back quite easy, I think, if we focus on this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, they outdid me. I shouldn't have done it that way. I should have helped my teammate get rid of the other people. That was my fault. Come on, stop them. Put an end to this madness. Oh boy. I'm gonna roll bomb like right over there. We're gonna do what we can about this. This is like a total mess. There's enemies everywhere and I'm gonna hit absolutely none of them because I'm good at this game. But nobody is focusing on the Rainmaker right now. Oh boy, come on guys, come on guys. We can do it, we can do it. I see you dudes over here. I'm not gonna let you do it if I can manage. Come on, oh uh, please. Thank you, I got rid of you. Somebody grab that Rainmaker, I don't care who, I guess it's me. I won last time, so maybe this will work out. Okay, so that helps get over here, but I guess there isn't as much here as I thought. Where is the team? I guess that most of them were spotted. Maybe I moved a little too fast that time. I'm willing to admit fault. That's why I don't like taking the Rainmaker, because you, at that point, there's a lot you have to rely on your team, because honestly, the Rainmaker weapon is a little tough to use. I'll throw that bomb down there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we have some real problems here because I am out of ink, and it's, man, these guys are really good. Like, I don't, really don't think I'm on the same skill level as that, but I guess they're B ranks, so it doesn't really matter. I gotta get better. Maybe, <laughs> gotta go back to the C rank where I belong. No, whoa, whoa, okay, that's it. Move back, move back. We should be able to get this super easy, because we have three people hitting it right now. Please, oh, I was gonna say please, not me, but it's me. Okay, so. This way, this way, can I call you guys over? Are any of you over here? No, no, in fact, I have the opposite of a teammate here. Can I get some help, please? Pretty please? <laughs> what is going on? I am definitely finding a new lobby after this, because it's just, I don't know. It's not that any of these players, I, I'm like, I'm not gonna blame any of them, but I really think that, for whatever reason, this group of people just isn't coordinating very well, and sometimes that happens. Especially when you know you're just solo queue, you're just trying to find other people to team up with that are just totally random people. Sometimes you're gonna find people that just don't fit your play style, and right now that sort of feels like it's happening. All right, so I got rid of that guy. There might be some enemies behind us or something. There's this dude right here. Come on, get rid of him. I know he's low. I know you're low. Yeah, I thought so. Ow. Couldn't do too much more than that. I haven't been using my superpower too much. I really don't think it helps in Rainmaker. But uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, having this bomb is helpful in Rainmaker. So if there is another dually that has this bomb, I'm sure it might be a little bit more useful for us. Get rid of you. Oh, did I get that other guy? I don't know. Come on, attack this, attack this, attack this. Boom, got it. Somebody get that, very good. Mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm trying to protect you. Oh, just barely was able to. Wait, oh, what a stinker. Come on, be careful, hide. Oh gosh, he's also a dually player. What is even happening right now? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, that was crazy. It was just like rolling all over the place. Like little marbles. Okay, this is quite an intense match. Right now, if, they, if, if it times out though, that's a problem because, uh, oh gosh, he's just gonna spam this area again and again. Uh, no you don't, no you don't. What did I, I'm really bad at Splatoon. Okay, we don't deserve to win if I'm, if I'm on the team. That's, that's, that's for a fact. I didn't mean to roll like that. I was just trying to angle up so I could actually hit them. Come on, help out with that. Evil, evil purple people everywhere. They're just so evil and so good at the game. I can't handle it. We got 30 seconds to turn this around. Throw the bomb, keep moving. Get rid of this dude, get rid of that dude, get rid of all of them. I just instantly explode. Come on teammates, you can do it. Why are they so good? We have the Rainmaker, that's great. I don't know if we'll keep it for very long, but I'll, I'll hope. Okay, so they have some of their teammates, over, like we have some of our teammates following that way. So if I could just, yeah, get rid of you. Move this way, come on, come on. Sneak up on this dude, where to go? Got him, beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up. Oh, we ran out of time. Darn, tried really hard there. Oh gosh, what button am I pressing there? Ah, uh, 27 to 90. All right, well, better luck next time. I think I might find a new lobby, I don't know. It just seems like we can't make things work. Yeah, we're going against like B pluses. I'm only a B minus. I got 14 spots, which is pretty cool. Somebody on their team got 19, so like, they destroyed us, but next time, okay? Next time. <laughs>
Okay, so maybe I will finish it off there. Looks like there was a change in game modes and it's now tower control. So I'll try to do that one for our next weapon showcase. But there we go, that was a lot of fun. I did enjoy playing the end parry splat duelies. Interesting, you know, it just mixes things up a little bit with these spot toys we already know and love, but I think it was a fun change. That extra bomb does help me from, you know, certain situations like Rainmaker trying to get to the Rainmaker sooner, but I'm not really a big fan of the superpower. Either way, I would love you to hear your thoughts on the end parry spot toolies, and that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon Tune. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Dually Zebra so you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra heard. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.